Ohayo gozaimasu. Ohayo gozaimasu. From Ikepokuro. It's just going off. It's 7 30 in the morning here. I'm out and about. I have a busy day. And I didn't think I would be able to stream any other time of the day. So here I am. Um, <laughs> welcome to the most beautiful spring day in Tokyo. <laughs> It is absolutely incredible. Seriously, apart from the crows that are flying around, that sort of like scare me. Um, <laughs> I'm just doing a little bit of a walk around the area where my, sort of my hotel is. <laughs> and um, I'm gonna share this actually to to um, my Discord. That's a good idea. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna share this to discord. It's the most beautiful day guys. Seriously. It's like wow It's probably 15 degrees. They say it's gonna be a high of 26 um, I'm literally wearing a t-shirt and this this jacket which I might just leave in the hotel on the way back Daniel and Yuka are picking me up in about uh, an hour and 15 minutes So I do need to be back at the hotel to pick up my stuff basically um but let me just share this with 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 discord if i can so i apologize if the thing goes weird i'll turn things around in the meantime so they're just not looking at a random thing on me That's we should be back everyone we should be back So the station is in that direction there. The Don Quixote, surprise, surprise. You always know, you know that you've, um, that you've chosen a good location when there's a Don Quixote, right? <laughs> Nearby, near your hotel. I am going to be a good boy and I'm going to wait for the, for the, for the light to, um, <laughs> to turn green. But train tracks are over there good morning Nishi Nish sorry good morning good morning good morning and I am really hoping that I'm doing um, Hanami later on Japan Japan Ichiban the man himself who else is here let me just cross the road who else is here <laughs> we have okay let's see Kazumi, hey dude! Bro the evil Philippe, awesome! Awesome, awesome! So um, I'm just gonna walk along the train tracks of, of, of the station, more or less. I don't know what that person is doing. Oh, he's doing some work. It is Sunday morning, I'm, I'm going to Team Labs today. Um, <laughs> hey Lani, how are you doing? <laughs> It's seriously a really beautiful day. Like super, I'm gonna go this way. It's a very beautiful day. It's, I can tell that in the next two or three hours, I'm not gonna need the jacket. I'll be fine with a t-shirt, but I'll carry the jacket with me. As I always say, layering, layering, layering. You just never know in the, how long you're gonna be out. Some trash on the floor. She is picking it up. And I am hoping to get myself a coffee. <laughs> I need some Meiji Matcha chocolates. They might sell it at Donkey. Ooh. I'm gonna stay outside for for um, the next 45 minutes or so walking around. I don't fancy really going inside anywhere. I might get myself a coffee from a vending machine in the next 10 minutes or so. But... Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Austin, how are you doing? This is probably 
one of the best times for me to stream. And if I could even stream a little bit earlier, hey, only one night, how are you doing? 7-11, Tamago Sando. It's only 7.30 in the morning. So I am, I am sort of like um, waking up. I woke up at quarter to six. Um, it's not too bad. I'm starting to acclimatize myself with a jetpack, you know? But this, if I could get into the habit of doing streams at this time or even a little bit earlier, that would be really nice. Just depends how much I drink the day before. <laughs> so everything is closed because it's so early. But hey, you know, it's it's okay. Oh, and I found a hub. Please press like, I want to crawl into my screen right now and walk along with you, Nathan. It would be so cool if you could do that, guys. The crows are very, very real right now. I mean, I'm talking about that is the situation with crows. <laughs> and I have to say something, huh? If you see a crow, you should be scared. <laughs> Those things are scary. Oh, it's 10.30 p.m. in the UK only. Wow, that's not bad at all, is it? I mean, I am a, a morning person. I should try and get into the habit of this. But like I said, it really, really does depend on how much I drink and what I do the night before. And today I'm doing Hanami, so <laughs> I'm doing team labs. Um, I'm keeping an eye on my, on my watch because I do need to be back in the next 45 minutes or so. But I'm doing team labs and I'm doing um, Hanami <laughs> and then I'm meeting Jim Ross. Oh, guys, 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 guys. I, <laughs> I met Jim Ross yay, on, on um, Friday when I arrived. I met Jim Ross. So that was really, really nice. Really cool to finally meet a subscriber that I've been chatting with on the, on the chat for so long. Uh, it was really cool, but I'm meeting him again tonight, anyway. So... I don't really know where I'm going, but I'm walking. 9.38am, so this is really quite a good time for streaming, I guess. I wouldn't mind a coffee. Hey Feng, how are you doing? So there's a Wendy's kitchen up there, I've just seen. Oh, I know where I am now. I'm starting to get my bearings. <laughs> okay, okay. Interesting. Because um, Ikebukuro station has so many exits also. But um, uh, my hotel is out of one of the exits that I'm not really 100% used to. Or I don't you know, in the past I haven't really gone out of that exit. So it's nice to e even exploring different um, <laughs> exits of a station can be really exciting. <laughs> Hey HT, how are you doing? How are you? Look at these. You know what? If um, if there's ever a time for Tokyo or Japan to be dirty, it's in the morning. <laughs> like, especially on the weekend, like the night before. Yeah, things can be a little bit dirty. There's trash on the floor. It ain't all like sparkly clean all the time, but it will be pretty soon. I, ca I can imagine that this will be looking very different in the next hour or two. Oh, there's a Starbucks there and it's like a takeaway Starbucks. <gasps> I think that's like my, my calling. Um, yeah. Are there any coffees that are not sweet? There are. 
I've had coffees that are not sweet before. Wait a minute, do I have any, any... I'm just gonna check to see if I have any um, sweet car. Uh, I'm gonna add money to my watch. Guys, so what I'm doing, I'll try to show you, is I'm actually going to um, go to my speaker there on my watch <laughs> because I'm live streaming and I'm going to actually, let's see, and I'm going to press a little plus button and add, add some money, or add money. I'm going to add a thousand yen. And the cool thing is I can do this from... Let's see, adding money, do, do, do. Done. I had 123 yen, and it should. Now, update. Waiting, waiting, come on, update, update. Ohayo gozaimasu, ohayo gozaimasu, indeed. People are looking at me thinking that I'm talking to them, but I'm not talking to them. <laughs> Let's see, I'm gonna wait for it to update. Look at that dog, it's got a little hat and everything. Oh, wait a minute, I know what's going on here. Hey, Star Jen! Hey everyone, <laughs> it's it, it's funny um, because you guys obviously your chat is more is quicker than my chat here on Prism because you said hey Star Jen and then Star Jen said hi or whatever I, I didn't see her come in anyway oh she did morning Nathan and hi everyone okay 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 but um, I was hanging out with Luke yesterday did I did a little mini live stream with Luke um, yesterday. It was so much, it's always so good meeting up with him. I even met up with Shoko, which was really, really cool. And I'm, I'm really excited to, to, it was really exciting to meet up with Shoko yesterday. Um, but we kept a lot of it off the stream, off, off, you know, off social media. And it's just cool to just hang out, you know, without doing, we talk, we spoke <laughs> social media. Oh, there's a McDonald's. Oh, ooh, that's a, te that's very tempting also. Uh, but I want to I wanna stay out and stream, so... Let's see, did it update now? Yay, so now I have 1,123 yen um, and I'm going to pay with my watch. It's really, really handy. Mm. Oh, hi all. Then I'll have to find a bin. But I think I'm gonna have an ice latte. Let me turn things around. Sorry, I'm gonna won't be able to see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna pay. Hi, konnichiwa. So, um, ice latte. Tall size. Hi. 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 Yeah, 
。ありがとう。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ますごめんなさい。<笑>大丈夫です。と佐藤。あ、Thank you。あ、あ、ありがとうありがとう。大丈夫です。もう一回。難しい。<笑>ありがとう。ありがとう。<笑>おはよう。ありがとうございます。はい。The lady actually, um, it's a pity I wasn't filming, obviously, for privacy, but she, she、um, actually took out, I was holding the thing, I was struggling, so she actually put the, the sugar into my,、um, into my iced coffee. <laughs> Kampai, Ohio. Oh my god, I've seen so many, so many pickup artists. Like, literally, seen loads of、um, pickup artists.、Um, I've, like, walking around, you see them. It's quite crazy. Okay, there's some things around. You don't want to see me. You see my house when I'm at home. Those of you wondering where I am, I, I I'm not gonna venture too far just because I am gonna stick to the general like、um, area, but there's plenty to see and explore. And it's really nice to see. I mean, it's 7 30, which for Tokyo standards, I wouldn't say is super early, but the, the city is definitely waking up, you know. Oh, thank you so much for,、um, for adding some information on the Discord. You know, it's really difficult for me to keep tabs on all the social media stuff whilst I'm here. So I really do appreciate it when people do,、um, you know, <laughs> do it for me. Oh, that looks sort of interesting this way. Yeah, I learned a lot from, from Luke, especially with his streaming. I always, I always love his persona, you know, not his persona, it's, it's actually his personality and the way that he talks and he explains things. Global, you know, I've not been to this part of Ikebukuro before. I don't think so, anyway. Now, the, the biggest problem now is that I have this um, Starbucks um, coffee in my hand, and <laughs> what am I going to do with it when I finish? We'll see. Global Ring? Oh, and there's a little,、um, there's plenty of seating, which is nice. The Sakuras are not, <laughs> I've got a feeling that our Hanami is gonna be not too Sakura ish.、Um, I mean, they are starting, definitely starting to come out. I'll show you some of these trees. I'm guessing that's pretty much what our Sakura Hanami is gonna be like, just with a few flowers. But this is probably. At 45% bloom, I'd say. And, I, and probably by tomorrow, it will look very different. And let me show you. 
because this tree for example literally had no flowers yesterday i'm sure let's see and you can see that now this tree will be full of flowers um you can see there you see the flowers are starting to pop up actually this um, little area here it's very rare like there it says there global ring cafe and it's actually in my opinion it's kind of rare to to find places like coffee places like european style with outdoor seating so that place obviously has outdoor seating it's not open yet don't know when it opens but but yeah that's super interesting and it would have been really nice to sit outside with a coffee but like i've mentioned so many times there there's actually a lot of um a lot of um <laughs> coffee shops that don't open till later <laughs> it's, it's japan it's so strange sometimes i guess i could always just go back to the same starbucks and give them my cup they would probably be fine with that Hey everyone, I just sat down here. Oh my God, the sun is glaring right now. <laughs> Flipping heck. I just got a message from Daniel. I'm just going to... It seems that I have a little bit more time than I expected, basically. <laughs> um, ooh, what have I done? I, I misread... Um, <laughs> I misread Daniel's... Um, message. <laughs> in the morning All right let me just try and get some of those comments in if I haven't is if I haven't um, answered I do apologize JJI says this place has loads of blue lights when we were there last month all around the global ring really so maybe it's one to check out in the evening mm. yeah all right let me carry on walking a little bit people get bored of the same view <laughs> people's retention it's a it's a curse of tiktok and shorts Actually, I'm going to walk back to that Starbucks because I'm nearly finished. Ikebukuro is okay. You know, the hotel that I'm staying in is so nice. <laughs> I've been pleasantly, very pleasantly surprised by that hotel. Hey, back in the clay, it's my turn to be in Japan this time. Hey Tawada, welcome.
I've left a few of my things charging in um, on, in, in my room, my, my camera stuff. So, It's actually so quiet, <laughs> I swear. I'm gonna walk around to the other side of the station. Oh, I'm always charging. <laughs> Draining and charging, definitely. Draining and charging all the time. The curse of now walking around with this thing. I'm gonna actually go into the Starbucks to um, to throw it away. Let me just um, sort this out a minute. That's where I came, let's walk that way. Sakura things and the window. It really is like a really, really nice temperature right now. Oh, is that a pet store? Wow. That's like a really big pet store, actually. Up there. Let me zoom in a bit. So that's a, a, a pet store. It's like three floors. Interesting. The side street where Family Mart is in front of me is like a smoker's alleyway. There's loads of little, let's check it out. There's loads of little um, smoker's alleyways <laughs> in, in Japan, right? Well, let's walk. It's this one here on the right, yeah? No one's smoking right now, but I can totally imagine it. <laughs> totally imagine it. It's too early, guys. They're connected to pets? What do you mean, are connected to pets? 
um, clay. Metropolitan Plaza. Just gotta keep an eye on the on the on the watch because I do need to return to the hotel before I'm picked up. I'm actually being packed picked up packed up packed up I'm not being packed up I'm being picked up by Daniel and Yuka in their brand new car and I'm meeting little baby I'm so excited Well, I'm guessing I'm meeting little baby. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna leave a little baby behind, right? The nice little sculpture here. This is sort of like an indoor, outdoor sort of thing. Hey, David S, how are you doing, my friend? How long are you in Japan for? I'm only here. I've got like another seven days, basically. Or less, actually. Today's Sunday, so six days I have left. But I'm going to make the most of every single moment. <laughs> Nathan, you are in time for Sakura. It was too cold last week. Yeah, well, even... even I've got to... I'm starting to think that I'm only going to get it for like full-on Sakura for maybe one or two days. At this rate, anyway. Um, yeah. They are definitely starting to bloom. I think they announced the official um, like start of the Sakura season yesterday. <laughs> which, which is not the... It's a far... It's, it was kind of far off from the, the prediction that it was going to be like the 22nd of, or the 23rd. It ended up being the 30th. Like when they started blooming. Um, but now they are actually saying that full bloom will be as from starting as from tomorrow potentially maybe Tuesday well, it might not be too bad but like everything it's it's very um, you know different trees bloom at different times hey Julie good morning Nice, you've got Sam in Germany, awesome. The, one of the biggest tips that I would tell anyone who comes to Tokyo, or really any, just any major city in, in Japan, is familiarize yourself with, um, like everything should be relevant to to the station so you can explore and as long as you can get back to the station then you can find your way to wherever you wanted to or like your hotel for example so i know that i'm walking i know where the, where the station is and even if you did get lost you could just ask someone like hey sumimasen eki wa doko desu ka? where's the station and then you just walk to the station and then you'll be able to find your way to wherever you wherever you were, you came from hotel metropolitan you know that i've stayed in this hotel before <laughs> dude yeah i stayed in this hotel like maybe on my second trip um yeah my second trip to japan i stayed in this hotel like 2015 a long time ago but you know when you walk well, I don't know if this happens to you it happens to me quite often because I'm in Japan often enough but you know when you walk and you're like this looks familiar and then you have you have a flashback The cold weather I experienced last week during my nine days in Tokyo has set back the Sakuras. Yeah, indeed. And <laughs> now everybody's like waiting to see. Hey, Slick, how are you doing? April the 1st to the 5th was slated for the full bloom. Indeed. 
feels like you're you're here. Nice. It's good to be here. <laughs> it's so good to be back. I'm gonna sort of like walk around, sort of. I know that the station is in that direction. Actually, look, the station, the train tracks are over there. So I'm gonna walk through the train tracks. Yeah, I did the vertical yesterday, but to be honest, I didn't really like the, the I didn't like holding the camera vertically. It just felt a little bit more uncomfortable. This feels more balanced for me anyway. the horizontal I, I prefer the horizontal um, from a comfort point of view too however you know I, I do feel like I might need to do one or two more vertical ones just to give the algorithm a little bit of fuel oh people are going up these steps Let's go up these steps. I don't know what there are. I don't know what there is up these steps, but. I mean, what's the worst thing that can happen? Is that the entrance to the station? What's the worst that can happen if, it, if you go up some steps and there's nothing there? <laughs> Well, the worst thing that can happen is that you're tired from walking up some steps. But the best thing that can happen is that you get some interesting views from up here. I was thinking that myself was walking down the street back in February and, and got lost so many times exploring. <laughs> Depends on the platform you watched. To be fair, some like Facebook is there, yeah, definitely. And it also depends on your, on your audience, right? What they're used to and what they're not used to. Oi. The park, I'm gonna I'm gonna add a new rule like to the bot. <laughs> Every time somebody mentions the park, Hyatt, they're banned from my channel. <laughs> Joking. Ah, uh, wait a minute, this is the entrance to the hotel. Ah Yeah, the okay, sorry. I've just had another another sudden like um that I used to come from that hotel to get to the station Park Haya baby <laughs> Jim Ross I was telling everyone that we finally met
Please follow the green arrow at your feet. Uh, it says, obviously, to get to these lines. Oh. Now, the issue is, I've got a feeling that I might not be, I might have to turn back because I might be forced to go into the station and I don't want to go into the station obviously <laughs> but we might be able to get a good view from from here of the tracks alumine oh I, okay we can go through there i think check it out station platform down there there's a train there actually just there what did Tawada say I want to see Tawada said something funny Park Hyatt is a train store place <laughs> I guess look at us so stylish don't make me laugh in the middle of the street is to ban to ban to ban please how long are you staying in Ikapukuro sorry if you already said I am staying in Ikapukuro till Saturday basically I leave on Saturday night um, but obviously I'll be all over the place Ikapukuro is just basically my bed I'm not going to be sticking to Ikapukuro believe you me um, I'm I'm using Ikebukuro as a base just because it was a convenient place to stay for for when for what I wanted to do on this trip and also because it was so free, everything all the hotels were so expensive that I was sort of forced to um oh look here we are this is where where I came earlier I was forced to stay in Ikebukuro just because during Sakura season or none Sakura season as it seems um, everywhere else the hotels were super expensive and actually everywhere the hotels were super expensive and I found this place and actually it's been a bargain it hasn't been cheap but it hasn't been expensive but the hotel is really nice I'll talk about it another time And this stream is holding, holding up very well, isn't it? So I'm back in the middle, middle of the red light district. You know what? Sometimes with Ikepokuro. I feel that you never know if you're going to be in the slap bang in the middle of the red light district sometimes in, in, in many cities in, in, um, in Japan. But also, I think that the red light district in, in a city in Japan is very different to the red light district in like other cities around the world. Unless it's Shinjuku. <laughs> the Shinjuku like dodgy areas can be quite dodgy. We're back in the global ring. Sort of sort of starting to make, make my way. Let's walk down this alley here. It's gonna be a rough, roughly an hour stream, by the way, and I might was the time. Yeah, I might even get myself a, a little snack before meeting Daniel and Yuka. I'm feeling much better today. Yesterday, I was quite jet lagged at this time. 
Oh, wait a minute. Isn't this the um, smoker, the smoker's alley that um, <laughs> that Japan, Japan, Japan mentioned earlier? It is, isn't it? I remember. Yeah, that's the smoker's alley with the family map. Ooh, sort of going back the same way I came. I want you to go back a different way. It doesn't matter. Still interesting. One of the Anizakaya that I went to with um, Luke yesterday said there was a sign in the toilet and it was so funny. I'm going to post it on the Discord later. It was basically like the sign said like if you puke from all you can drink then the fine is 10,000 yen or you can pay 3,000 yen but you have to clean it up yourself. You know when the city is starting to wake up because you can smell the city waking up. I can start, I'm starting to smell like foods everywhere, you know, like just 45 minutes ago when I was here, it was much quieter and you couldn't really smell anything. And now it's there's a lot more people as you can see and the smell of like food is in the air the kitchens are opening or whatever you know so this is the Starbucks I was at before that's a McDonald's where I might or I might not get myself a sausage or a muffin just to have something in my stomach This area, which if you remember, <laughs> I walked around this area this morning and I said, oh, look, there's trash on the floor. And I, and um, you know, like, give it an hour and there won't be any trash on the floor. Well, there we go, no trash on the floor. You've sat on that wall. <laughs> awesome. Hey, Mark. The weather is absolutely incredible, guys. Seriously, the weather is... Like, I have a t-shirt and I have this one. That's it. Um, it's really nice. Like I say, layering weather. Um, but if you're going to stay out all day, you're going to need something in the morning i think if i took this off maybe i'll be a little bit cold but probably during like as from 11 in the morning all the way to 6 p.m or 5 p.m and um, you could probably be in a t-shirt but then you'd have to layer up again so always carry something in your in your bag you know like a, a little jacket or, or something long sleeved i'm still here um still Heating Japan based, uh, hating Japan YouTubers saying also Japan are cheaper because of the low yen. They aren't, and Japanese are not traveling abroad, so it's not helping. Yeah, actually, actually, um, actually, one of the things that um, that I mentioned was I don't know that, that person didn't want to be on video very clearly. <laughs> one of the things that um that i mentioned a few times already is how i've noticed that um hotels are like 20 percent to 30 percent more expensive than what they were last year like in the summer like a hundred percent i've booked all my all of my um hotels for my summer trip and my hotels are 20 my trip is going to be 20 to 30 percent more expensive than last year and that is even with the low yen you're absolutely right um, um there philippe because 
I'm not talking about 20 or 30 percent more more expensive in terms of yen. I'm talking about 20 to 30 percent more expensive in terms of yen and the exchange rate, if that makes any sense. So, so I I, I actually feel sorry for for um, domestic um, tourists in Japan because. They're, they're paying exactly the same exactly the same as a local tourist and over the summer I'm going to be traveling to some relatively remote places that aren't in the golden triangle and even those hotels are, are like 20% more expensive than last year but you're right I guess that once you get here putting aside the hotels they they I mean to to clarify a little bit also i also believe that the hotels even though they are more expensive they are generally you can find better like price hotels than in um in in europe like there's no way that in london for example i'll be able to find a hotel at the price point that i'm paying for regardless of whether it's you know 20 or 30 percent more expensive it's just there's no way that in a major city like paris or london or whatever i'd be able to find something at a at a, at a relatively okay price point but yeah things are more expensive the taito station was a lifesaver for me while i was there they have a smoking room on the fourth floor It's really good weather, by the way. Um, coexist, really, really, really. Yeah, the yen hasn't affected hotels at all. Let's see. Yeah, what's the time? I have another 10, nine or 10 minutes. Let's walk along this road here. that one over there but um, yeah it's as if they said "Ooh, the yen is weak and tourists um, can afford it so let's put up the prices by 20% but no let's actually put it put up the prices by 20% and more because because <laughs> it's not just a simple putting up the price this is the this is the um, the station exit, the Ikebukuro Station West Entrance North, which can be a little bit um, it can it can be a little bit of a mouthful, right? West X Entrance North, West Entrance North, and I'm not very sure, but I think that that, that long thing there, I think it's a um, they burn the trash there, so think so London is ridiculously expensive JJ I 100% I like London but it just put me off it puts me off a lot going there there's definitely a premium during Sakura Japan 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 However, I'm, I'm talking about, I mean, yes, hotels during Sakura season have been on average two to three times more expensive. I kid you not. Like the same hotel that I stay in, like something around, the same hotel that I usually stay in in Ueno was nearly three times more expensive during this period than when I went during New Year's. I mean, and that's kind of, kind of crazy, right? Like nearly, nearly three times, I, like more expensive than when I when I was staying here in in January because of this season a hundred percent but generally generally I feel like there's been a you know a price hike things have gone more expensive okay let's have a look at the photos and the art um, that's actually on the way to my hotel, but I didn't want to go straight to my hotel yet. But I walk a little bit that way. 
and then I'll turn back and I'll probably end the stream there. Um, I said the stream was going to be an hour, more or less, and it will be. I'll start ending it in the next 10 minutes or so. Yeah, my hotel is in that general area. London has been expensive for the last 30 years, probably, but it just keeps on getting more expensive. This is, this is the, the issue, the problem, really. Smokers room there, there's a smoking area here on the right. I mean, it's not like you won't find smoking areas. This is a wall with the artwork that um, Japan Japanese Band was talking about. That's a Don Quixote that I mentioned at the beginning. Well, I passed by at the beginning of the stream. The hotel is actually quite close to that Don Quixote, like a five within a five minute walk or less from that Don Quixote. And like I said, you know you've hit a jackpot when you are near the station and near Don Quixote, right? <laughs> check it out I do have a, a quite a planned trip in a way even even today I've received uh, one of my friends says hey meet up for for lunch um, today in Ueno I'm like I can't <laughs> someone I really want to meet up but I can't I literally today I can't I'm going back to the hotel now in the next few minutes in fact I'm gonna walk back back this way I'll end the stream um, in that little plaza that um, that I showed you earlier on and I'm gonna grab myself something to eat and then I'm gonna go back to the hotel basically so I don't have that long really but um, yeah she's like hey let's meet up for lunch in Ueno I'm like I can't today how about give me a day during the week and, I, and I'll try and organize myself to be in Ueno Yeah, the hotel I'm staying in is very, very convenient. Um, Ikebukuro is a really good station, actually, in terms of like getting all around the city. I mean, in terms of like Ikebukuro itself, it's okay. I mean, Sunshine City is nice. It's okay. I wouldn't say it's like, like one of my top places to explore and this dream has been a little bit boring I think I've literally just walked around in a circle twice but only because I'm on a I'm on a schedule and I need to be back by to my hotel by a certain time to be picked up by Daniel and Yuka and I don't want to be late because we have timed entry into team labs so And I do want to return to the hotel and hopefully maybe charge my phone a little bit. Although I will be taking my battery pack with me.
Yeah, I'm glad I did the string this this but it's isn't it crazy how how full of life the city has become all of a sudden and just um an hour ago when I started the stream it was empty there was no one <laughs> it was quiet Hey guys, on that note, um, thank you everyone for your support, for your positivity and um, I'm very happy to be able to show you Japan from here, from the Happy Gaijin channel. Um, please tune in, make sure you have the bell notifications on, like the stream, comment after it, check out my main channel Ninja Monkey and um, always check out my Instagram because I am a little bit, I'm going to try to be a little bit more active and, and put some stories on Instagram. Um, during the I always say it <laughs> but um, during the stream but on that note I'm going to leave you it's been an hour it's been great it's been fun and um, it's been a really good time to stream and I feel like I've, I've got my streaming out of my system nice and early in the morning <laughs> take care stay positive and like I always say be a happy Gaijin bye <laughs>